So today we're going to talk about garlic's influence over cancer. Now most people know that garlic is very, very healthy, and they may also know that it's very powerful as an antimicrobial, antifungal, especially antiviral, and it doesn't seem to do anything bad to our good bacteria, but only the pathogens. But what I want to talk about today is its power on cancer and tumor cells. Now, there is a certain phytonutrient or compound in garlic that's creating this effect, and it's called a lecin. And this phytonutrient is released when garlic is crushed. You can also get it in supplements as well. And what's good is that it harms the cancer cell, but it does not create any harm on our cells. Let's take a look at what it can do. And I'm going to put uh, the research links down below. You can, you can look at those as well. Number one, it reduces the growth of tumor cells. Number two, it inhibits cancer cell growth in human studies, okay, not just my studies. Number three, it causes the cancer cells to induce apoptosis. Now, what is apoptosis? Basically, the cancer cells commit suicide. I like that. Number four, it's anti-proliferative. And this word describes the spread or growth of the cells. Garlic is stopping the growth of cancer cells. Number five, it's chemoprotective. There's a lot of chemicals in the environment, and garlic has the ability to reduce the toxic effects against chemicals. And this also includes chemotherapy. So if someone has cancer and they're getting chemotherapy, garlic can help protect them from the toxic effect. And number six, alicin, the chemical in the garlic, can induce autophagy in human liver cancer cells. Autophagy is this condition where your body is recycling and basically breaking down certain cells. Now, this is mind-blowing that garlic can do this. You would think that this would be a headline of every newspaper, but apparently you can't patent garlic. What? Thank goodness for that. All right, guys, now you know the powerful effects that garlic can have over your immune system.